What's up guys, in this video we're going to be taking a look at a concept that you can utilize to throw outside of zone drops, even when they're at 30 to 25 yards, and even when they're cloud flats. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you're new to the channel, my channel is all about helping people become the best Madden players that they can become, and so if you want to get better at this game, I just want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies on the channel. Now real quick, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, kind of work some concepts that are really good against like 25 yard flat zones. This is kind of a standard Mabel covers that you probably see on Weekend League or online. And we're gonna work a concept out of the trips tied in. Now, if you have not already picked up the trips tied in offensive guide, I would encourage you to do that. Um, it's just 10 bucks. And if you're not a true fan yet, I wanna to talk to you quickly about the true fan membership. Basically what it is, is it's an exclusive membership for my most committed followers. And what we do is every single week, we provide you guys with three exclusive videos, a meta update for offense, a meta update for defense, and a pro player film study where we actually go in detail and kind of break down uh, what they're doing and why they're doing it in a competitive matchup. Now in this week's offensive meta update, we're actually gonna be covering a trips tight in update, which is gonna be basically an update to our ebook. So if you have not already joined the True Fan membership, I'd encourage you to do that. It's literally just five bucks to be able to join. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for you to be able to do that. We're gonna be covering this concept along with several other concepts um, that we've been able to kind of start using at a very high level to make trips tight in even better than it already was. So the play we're gonna use is crow flat. You could honestly use any play, it doesn't really matter. Um, any play with the tight end on a corner route, so whether it be curl flat, doubles in sale, um, PA slot corner, drive posts, any of those plays, verticals, it's, it, you can use any of those. But we're just gonna use curl flat. Now, real quick, I just wanna show you kind of the problem, and then we're gonna talk about a solution to the problem. So uh, if your opponent comes out in a defense like this, and they see that circle is going on a post route, uh, like this from curl flat, let's say you do something as simple as this right here, what you're gonna notice is they're gonna go guard him, and then this corner route is not gonna, it's typically not gonna get open. Uh, typically what's gonna happen is, the outside third is going to be able to play it. Now it actually got open right there, but normally it's not going to. Let me just put this guy in a yellow zone. And again, we're just gonna watch. But basically, and, and, and we'll just show this, we'll just put this guy in a hitch. But if you just watch this, this corner route, you're gonna see that if we try to throw this, it's gonna be thrown into players just like that. And so there's two simple little, for actually three simple little formulas that you can use to get this open. We're gonna show you one of those in this video. The rest of them we're gonna show you in our um, in our true fan membership. So if you wanna join that, we update that every single week with brand new. You get three new videos every week, 12 new videos a month. So really good deal and really, really easy to get a lot of value out of that. So what we're gonna do right here is we're actually gonna use a very simple concept this is really, really, really good, um, specifically against someone that thinks that this corner route to the tight end is not gonna have to be usered. So we wanna force them to have to user the right side so that we can work the left side. So simple concept here is we're gonna put the running back on a ghost route, we're gonna smart route the corner route, and then what I like to do is I like to take this, uh, this uh, Godwin here, I actually like to put him on a hitch, just like this right here, and this is the concept that I'm gonna work with. And what you're gonna notice is at the snap of the ball, this flat zone is gonna stay inside. And the actually the outside third zone will typically stay inside as well. Now in Mutt, they're a little bit better players and they have a little bit better zone coverage. So you just need to monitor that. And we talk about how to deal with that in our true fan membership. So if you wanna uh, pick that up again, that's gonna be in the description. But if you watch this ghost route, what's gonna happen is this flat zone that's gonna typically drop back there is actually gonna stay inside as you can see right there. Now the cool part is we can actually do this from both the linebacker and the corner, so or in the safety. So for example, if let's say they take the, the linebacker and they put the linebacker on a hard flat uh, at 25 yards, if you watch, see how he's gonna just sit on that ghost route inside? Now that time the corner played it a little bit better, but um, if you have a gunslinger quarterback, which in, in regs, I can't have that unless I wanna use the Packers, but in Mutt, I can get the new Aaron Rodgers golden ticket that has Hot Rod Master and has this ability. Um, now, if you don't have Hot Rod Master, we're gonna show you how to deal with that in just a moment. 
but you'll see right here hard outside pass lead just like that very simple and as you can see we're able to easily dot it now if you don't have hot wrap master there is uh something that you can do that will basically serve the same purpose um it's a little bit it's not as effective but it's still okay and that's to put the running back on an option route so you see here we're just going to put the running back on a little smart route and option route just like this and that little hitch is going to basically hold the flat inside now it didn't do a great job of it right there but if you put him on a curl it might be a little bit better let me try that real quick but you can use like these little these little smash basically they're smash concepts but they really hold this um they, they really do a good job of, of holding this so you see here here's a curl um and that time got it a little bit more open as you can see on that outside now the curl again the curl and the option route are not as good as the ghost route i want to be very clear about that the ghost route is the best way to do it but um the curl is okay um the option route is okay you'll see here if the linebacker is the one that's on the zone you're still going to be able to get this ball outside just like that easy read easy money you know relatively simple right and what they're going to have to do to stop this is they're going to have to do a lot of things so for example one of the things one of the strategies that i bet they would try on you is to run essentially a cover two defense to the trips tight inside the beauty of this ghost route is it really prevents them from being able to do that you'll see here that that cloud and he actually played it pretty well that time but typically that cloud is not going to play it that well and if he does play it that well then you're going to have the running back underneath wide open for an easy gain but let me show you that one more time so again uh, we're just going to run this cover two beater and what you'll see is this cloud flat if he's on a cloud flat um, okay then we can just simply playmaker the running back up and as you can see right there easy read so this is a really good opportunity specifically for cover three mabel it's really designed for cover three mabel um, for you to be able to throw outside but the cool part is you also have this really good combo uh, combination of routes on the left side so what i like to do on the left side is a hitch and then i also like to put the, the receiver on the left on an out route just like this right here the, the reason i like this out route is you're gonna you're gonna make them commit really really quickly and as you'll see right there typically that curl route is going to get open later in the play now another adjustment that's really popular especially when people are playing trip side in is something essentially like this where they basically cross the two this is to help with the defending of the, the triangle receiver on a hitch the beauty of this is if they run a combo like that you'll see that they swap and they basically leave this out route wide open so essentially they have a hard flat that's not playing the hard flat and that's really something that's very powerful because what you want to do is you want to force them to have to put young here into a hard flat let me show you what i'm talking about so if i put elliot in a hard flat so if i play like a traditional mabel coverage this is really important so what you'll see is this this uh setup right here triangle should get open to the outside you see i can just throw it hard outside pass lead just like that and basically be able to get him outside the other thing is true is if we do that vertical hook like i was telling you so um let's do just a vertical hook just like this you see vertical hook they, they, they kind of flip flop um this is another strategy that you'll see so what's going to happen is they're going to have to be they're going to be forced to have to basically do a couple of different things to defend this but as you can see right here we're able to easily hit this route so now what they're going to have to do in, in terms of the evolution of their defense is they're going to have to go with something like this right here this kind of coverage the reason this is important is for things that we're going to do later on um, or things we're going to do you know outside of this play but if you watch right here on this route now you see outside leverage which means i can go curl route easy read now that flat actually played it pretty a lot better than he normally does but you do have that another thing that you can do this one's a little tricky and it's not the best um it's it's kind of a it's kind of a, a touchy read but it's actually kind of unique so you see what you can do is you can do something like this right here where you have that smart routed in route the reason i like a smart routed in route is because if the if everything sits like it's going to you're going to have this little pocket right here where you can hit that dig against those underneath zones the re other reason i like this is this gives the defense something like this gives them something to pull it back so for example if they're running a little bit more uh deeper zone drops let me show you what i'm talking about so if they go something like this these are these are the zone drops that i personally prefer prefer but if they're if they're doing something like that then what's going to happen is you're going to see that this is going to really open this play up a lot so 
um, you know, basically we're just going to go to kind of our setup here. Now remember, we have to put, you see, if we do it like this right here, as you can see, just a, a traditional Mabel coverage, the beauty of this is the, the, the triangle receiver should get wide open to the outside for about five to 10 yards. So then what they're going to do um, is they're going to have to keep him underneath and they're going to basically have to do a little swap exchange. The reason that this is significant is because if we come back to the opposite side of the field on the on the opposite side, uh, you're going to see that this X receiver is going to get wide open against that 10 yard zone. Very easy, very simple. So you have a beater on both sides. The other thing that I want to uh, just kind of showcase before we take off for the day um, is I want to show you, uh, whoops, I want to show you this concept. So if they do something like this right here, this is where I like this dig. So if you start to notice they're getting out on your out route, if you go to this setup right here, I know it doesn't look great, but it's so good uh, against zone coverage. This dig route is insanely good. You're going to see just kind of drift. You see how that yellow is going to drift off the hitch because of the dig? That's a simple little concept that you can use. So essentially what you're doing is you're forcing them to play deeper zones without having to change your routes, uh, which is really, really cool. So, so anyways, this, um, this little route combo is absolutely incredible. If you want to learn more about the Trips Tied In, I would encourage you to uh, just check out our, either our Trips Tied In ebook or uh, we're getting ready to do a major, major update into our, our meta defense. Whoops. Uh, and you see there, you got to kind of read that. If he's over top of the hitch, you would throw the dig. If he's underneath the hitch, you would throw the dig. Um, or if he's over top of the hitch, you would, you would throw the hitch. But um, if you want to get access to the, the updated version of the Trips Tied In or the big update that we're going getting ready to do for you guys, I would encourage you to um, just be sure to join that true fan membership. It's literally five bucks a month and you get my best stuff. It's the best stuff that I have. Um, this little out route right here is so good. If they're not, you're going to force them to have to really play underneath zones to stop it. And then you're going to open up a lot of the stuff deeper down the field. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This has been how to deal with some of the Mabel coverages that you're going to be seeing in Weekend League. And if you want to become a true fan and get access to my best material for getting you better in Madden 21 and ultimately in Madden 22, I'd encourage you to pick that up down in the description. It's just five bucks a month and it's the best five bucks you'll spend this month. I guarantee it. Thanks for your time and we'll see you later.